Hello and welcome to Anthony's Brick Builds, and today we'll be going over a new leaked LEGO Star Wars set. Now before we go on further into this video, please be sure to like, share, subscribe, turn on notifications by on if you have not already. And we'll and thanks again to LEGO Star Wars Reddit League community for posting this on their newsletter. So here we go into the set 75378. This is the Bark Speeder Escape set. It come straight from Mandalorian Season 3 where we have Keller and Beck, Baby Yoda, and we also have two Helmet Hold 501st Clone Troopers included in the set. Looks really cool to sell. we retailing for 30 US dollars. Comes out May 1st, 2024 and has 221 pieces. As you can see from the main build, looks really cool. And it has this nice speeder which reminisces of the 501st speeder from the 501st Battle Pack and the Bad Batch Attack Shuttle. It also has that sidecar on the side where we have Baby Yoda in his little pram which snugly fits into the design. Looks pretty nice and I do see a couple stickers on this set like one main one in front of the pram on that sidecar. And then also has another build of uh, kind of like a light fixture down at the bottom. That looks pretty cool. And then you can see on the top right of this image, the box art. The box art is pretty nice looking. It looks to be the same squarish box as we had with the Clone Troopers and Battle Droids Battle Pack. So that's pretty cool looking. And it is that um, European style box art up on there. So that's what it looks like from the European magazines. And then we, I really do like the Keller and Beck figure included in this set. He looks really cool. And you can see from the box art picture, it looks to be that he has two different lightsabers in his hand. Not sure that's like a printed issue or something, but I do believe in the Mandalorian season three, he did have two lightsabers, which was kind of cool to see. And just want to go into kind of like the speeder a little bit more down at the back. It does look to be like there's some stickers on the back. And then looks to be some stud shooters up front. That is cool. I'm really glad that that is there. And then we do have, just going over quickly, those um, Final First Troopers. They are the same Final First Troopers that we got in the Final First Battle Pack a couple years back. Just with the new helmet holes that are kind of ugly looking. So that's probably the only downside of set is that it does have helmet hold Final First Troopers. But now we have kind of every major faction of LEGO Star Wars Clone Troopers with Helmet Holes. So if you want to look at it that way, it's pretty cool. But if you want to look at it as kind of like not the best LEGO product, that's true. But that is today's video. Thank you guys for joining me. Can't wait for more sets to come out. I know I've been pumping out videos every day of new LEGO Star Wars sets. Can't wait for a review of the set in May. I'll see you guys then. Have a great rest of your day. May the Force be with you.